it, what we're doing today and what we did last class period is for those of you that were here last class period, um, what we did was we did, we first thing we started off was the rules of exponent, right? Remember I had that huge thing of rules of exponents, correct? Now the next thing, David, that was important about last class period is we only dealt with expressions that had mul that were multiplication and division, the product and the quotient. We didn't have any addition or subtraction, right? So that's very, very important because part of these rules of these exponents is now we're dealing with simplifying expressions. We're not going to be using our rules of exponents um, as much unless there's a couple examples that do have it. But the main important thing with solving problems like this where we have expressions that are separated by addition or subtraction is we have to simplify the numerator and the denominator separately. Okay? Oh, I forgot to go over that. So I'll change that first. So anyways, the first thing we need to do is simplify. Can we factor, can we simplify by factoring, uh, Mariana, the, the numerator, 3m plus 1? Can I factor anything? What can I factor out? I cannot. Thank you. So they, well, they, the, both these terms do not share a 3. We're factoring the numerator and the denominator separately. So there's no terms that the numerator shares that we can factor out. However, about the denominators, there's something we can factor out? What is that? 3. So if I factor out a 3, I have 3n plus 1 divided by 3 times 3n plus 1. Do you see how that works? Now, I forgot to go over this with you guys last class period or before this. However, now you guys can see I have an expression divided by another expression that are exactly the same. Those divide to 1. So my final answer is um, n, or my final answer is 1 third, where n cannot equal a negative 1 third. I'll explain that n equals negative 1 third here in just a second. I forgot to do that before this class.